and welcome back to our channel. We've received many questions on tear stains from our followers on Instagram and Facebook, and we know it's a big issue for Maltese owners. In fact, we've experienced this problem with our own Maltese A-Rod as well. So in this video, we'll discuss three things that can help prevent tear stains from getting worse. Firstly, let's talk about hair. It's important to ensure that the hair around your Maltese's eyes isn't irritating them. If the hair grows longer around the eyes, it needs to be trimmed to prevent it from bothering their eyes. Some people prefer to keep their Maltese with longer hair. In that case, you may need hair clips to make sure their hair does not touch their eyes. Additionally, groom them more often than short-haired Maltese. Secondly, let's talk about allergies. Every dog is different. If you think it might be a food allergy, you can try limited ingredient diet kibble. Most stores will have this, of course. Write down the ingredients and monitor your pup for about a month. If you notice that it gets worse, adjust to another limited ingredient diet. When transitioning to new food, make sure to mix old and new for the first few days. You can try an allergy test as well to identify any specific foods that your dog may be allergic to. Our dogs, A-Rod and Bailey, both had allergy tests and were found to be allergic to different foods. When A-Rod was around one year old, I spoiled him with various foods and treats without knowing that it would cause tearing. This led to his tear stains becoming very serious, so I took him to a vet who suggested that I try giving him vegan food and allergy medicine. It took about six months to stop his tearing. However, every dog is different, so be sure to consult with your vet before making any changes. Thirdly, let's talk about persistence. Tears can make the hair yellow, so it takes a lot of effort to take care for their tears before they become stains. When A-Rod had very bad stains, I changed his food and always carried a tissue to wipe his tears. I also trimmed the stained hair until the stains finally disappeared. Having a dog requires a lot of work to keep them clean, and a white dog is even more challenging. Finally, i like to share my morning cleaning routine video with you. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out our simple daily routine video. In the video description, I've also listed all the tools that I'm currently using, including a short brush that's perfect for small dogs. We absolutely love it and use it every time. Thank you for watching. I hope these tips will help you prevent and manage tear stains. Remember, it takes patience and persistence to care for your dog's tear stains, but with a little extra effort, you can keep them looking clean and beautiful. Good luck.